Okay then guys, so we're back in Solace Project, uh, sorry, THE Solace Project. Started another game again, and uh, just for a comparison really, there's the craft that we landed in, the escape pod, before we fell from there down to here, whereas now in VR mode, you start off the game already here. That would be to alleviate any potential virtual reality sickness. Um, it's, it's looking good, we've got loads of new options. Local survival overseer node active. Wilson interfacing with operator. Operator vital signs detected. So yeah, the new options, we can actually strafe now. We can actually walk around, strafe, walk backwards and uh, the other options are there if you want them. Um, there's also like a, a speed sensor as well, so you can, you can, you, I like the analog movement, you control how quickly you walk. You know, if you want to just cruise along, you can do that. If you want to run, um, you can do that as well. So, I really appreciate developers that listen to the community. Massive, massive, like, appreciation shout out there. This is good work. So, yeah, I have to say, this is now very playable. Uh, some of the menus uh, still are not uh, VR, you know, like, so uh, if I press, like, the start button, you can see that the menu in the middle is still not right but you know this is work in progress man that shit can can be changed in time it's not a problem it's really good so now you can fly around the game and do exactly what you want you can have the settings that you want or preferred settings for uh, locomotion in game so now I'm, I'm very happy this game is playable this game is very playable now so it's, it's, it looks great it looks really really lovely um, I'm interested to find out exactly what's going on with this, you know, in regards to how big the world is. Because uh, this is only part training one, it's going to be... Oh. Yeah, it will do. Um, it's actually going to be expanded upon all the time, so... It's all up in flames. That's good to know. I need to last long enough to report something back to Prolos Command. Better have a look around and see if anything, or anyone, survived. Yeah, man, to be honest, this is this is a bad situation. Although, it could have been a worse one, you know what I mean? You could have landed in a, something a lot less beautiful. Is that an island over there in the distance? Like, more landmass? We might better get across there. Maybe there's boats and shit, man. Or even, like, aviation craft that we can actually build and salvage from this shit. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to go on with this. But so far, as I explained in the last video, if you haven't seen that, to be honest, you've not missed a lot if, if you're watching this one now. Um, but basically... You've, uh, you, oh, planet Earth's fucked, basically. Uh, so we've had to move away from planet Earth because the planet is in dire issues, you know, and there's going to be like a, a comet or some sort of like, big projectile hitting the Earth. And Inventory full. Okay, inventory full. So basically, humanity has to get as many people as possible to, to escape. And they put thousands of people on five ships, send them out into the universe. Uh, this uh, this is one of the ships uh, th this fella was on, uh, but this one actually got destroyed by uh, well, I think it was like a comet or something, but it, it got hit and then it, it crash landed here. So this is all we know so far. Um, so much potential for this story though. Inventory full. Inventory full. How do I drop shit? Oh, there's my sharp rock. I need that. Okay. So we can work with that. L1 and R1 actually cycle through. So it's good. So... So there's all kinds of stuff we need to actually do. Uh, the game crashed around about here last time. So I'm not really too sure where I'm supposed to be going, but I'm guessing up here. Maybe, I don't know. Although this is just kind of a shelter, I guess. Oh shit, this is pitch black. Ooh, light source would be nice. 
I think I need to make it, uh, I need to craft something, don't I? Do, do, do. I dare not go down there just yet. I'm gonna try and build something here. Forward, forward, what's that shit? Forward, vector. Scavenge some food. Oh, I'm decent. So, I'm going to cycle through some shit that I can afford to drop. Maybe I can drop some of them. Yeah. Get some food. Can I eat that? Oh, yeah. Decent. What's it want me to do now? This planet looks crazy. It looks really good. We need to make some sort of torch, don't we? Because there was a light rod down there, or that big pole thing I just dropped. Like here. I'm wondering if I can attach that. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Not sure how to light it, though. Decent. Okay, so that's my torch, I'm guessing. But how do I light it? Objective over there. Cool. Let's head that way. Ha. Apply to the lit torch. <laughs> Locate oil and apply it to the lit torch. I'm sure there were some barrels, weren't there? I could just like maybe find some near the engines. There were some barrels around here. Do we're getting a fire going though, to be honest. That's a beautiful vista. Objective, locate oil. Oh, there we go. So if you really want to, you can just press right on the D-pad and it shows you where you've where you got to be going. sound of that. What is that? What is that fucking noise? Solid 3, this is Polis Command. Calling from the safety of capital ship Ove near Pluto. Checking in for a status update. We received jumbled emergency readings from the satellite relay right before your designated landing time. Is everything okay? Ah, oh, it's locked off anyway, I couldn't get through. Hmm. 
Definitely some shit through there though. I'm, I think if I put that away, I don't know if it'll run out. I find it a bit odd that I can put a lit torch in my pocket. Yeah, this game's got some potential, you know, guys. And uh, it looks, by the looks of things, we've actually got a developer that's listening to the community. I know you can't please everyone, but so far I think he's done a really good job of implementing some control schemes, you know, to, to, to keep the masses happy. There, there is comfort mode for those that need it. You can control the walking speed, you can control the rotation speed, there's a disconnected head as well, you know, you can have that as an option. It's all kinds of options. I might go and see what's over here, you know. Uh, I, I might not go and do any more story stuff, but I just want to go and see what, what's over here. Oh. Food. Inventory full. What can I drop? Um... Oh, is that an empty can? Yeah, we'll drop that and dash it. Inventory full. I know what I'll do. I'll eat. It could have been worse. And then I'll dash it. Good stuff. Keep hearing like weird, weird stuff. Those hexagonal formations are a bit like uh, what was it? The the giants. Oh shit! What's that? Oh look! Alien flora and fauna. You know that thing that's in Ireland. Causeway, giants causeway. So for all we know, we could be like the only people here at all, you know, or there could be like civilization hostile hostiles, you know. Wonder how big the map is, or how big the map's gonna be. I feel like this is gonna be more of like a a taster, you know, like the first whoa, like the first parts. I'm not too sure how how big this is gonna be, but. It, he's going to keep working on it, and I'm not too sure whether it's going to be like DLC that you have to buy. Inventory full. Ah, oh, so that's something I can eat, I think. Um. See, it all looks pretty important, to be honest. Maybe I can get rid of one of them flasks. I don't really want to, though. I like the fact that you have to manage what you what you carry in that. Oh yeah man, this is this is next level. It's it's cool. Really really cool. It's definitely land over there, you know. I can hear some shit as well. What have we got over here? More Oh oh. Inventory full. I'm gonna have to drop some it. Could have been worse. Just more wreckage over here. Yeah, you have to be careful where you're looking. It looks like them plants are going to want to eat you. What's here? What's this? Is that a save point? Can't read what that says. Cargo manifest. Maybe I'll have to come back to that. Beacon. Boom. 
Maybe I'll drop my sharp rock. Yeah, I'll have to drop that, I think. That shit. reading that stuff but that'll be for another day sounds like whales Something up as well, like a club. This is really exciting. Really, really exciting. All right, I'm gonna call it on this one, guys. I think this is probably a good place to call it. But this game is really playable now. You don't really need the menu. You can cycle with your bumpers to find out all the stuff in your inventory. Uh, you can actually traverse the landscape easily with a controller. This is really good really looks definitely a massive massive improvement over you know just in one patch so really really massive massive thank you to the to the dev for putting out this update i look forward to the next one and um, at this point uh, i will say that this game is, is worth a look um on the on the last one the last video i couldn't recommend it because of the uh, the broken control schemes but now there's options for everyone you will Definitely, definitely. Uh, if, if you if you've got if you like VR, no reason not to pick it up. To be honest, even even if it is short, I don't know how long it is. I don't know anything about it, but it's a lovely environment to come and see. So yeah, that's immersive game rate three, and I'll catch you on the next one.